my sister Angie, she, she's so cute. She, she's like, <gasps> whenever, like if we're on the phone call and I'm like, and it was, blah, 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 and she's like, oh, did you just say that word? And I was like, yeah. And so literally for her birthday, I said, come on, Angie, just say it, say it, say it. And she goes, <laughs> she literally. This is pretty big deal. Because we're in between looks, we're just gonna bump up the color a little bit on the lip and tweak it from like a casual to not so casual. What are you gonna do? I don't know, let's just see what happens. What are Ashley's like uh, micromanaging things? Okay, it has to see the hair tie for every ponytail. Yeah. If you do a center part, it has to be mathematically yeah. directly yeah. in the center. Yeah. I have to use a comb with actual measurements on it. Shout out to Revlon for my little purple eyeshadow, my little berry lip. Thank you guys for sponsoring this episode. I am so pumped for our guest today. You guys, it's Kelly Rowland. You might have heard of her from this like little band, this little group called Destiny's Child. She's a mommy, she's pregnant, she's making us lifetime movies in quarantine. She's got all the things happening and her smile is radiant. I can't wait to talk to her. Without further ado, that's leather pants. We've got Kelly Rowland. Hello? Hello. Hi, I can't see you. Oh crap, hold on, I think. Hi! How are you? How's the baby? Oh my gosh, Kelly. <laughs> Isn't it the best thing in the world? Honestly, it's the most beautiful, rewarding, stressful, <laughs> amazing. Like it's all of these things at one time, but I love it. I love my baby. Um, so I have the song. I'm going crazy, crazy for anything. Going hey. crazy for you. I just put my own little spin on that. <laughs> oh, you know who got me hyped too was Tina Knowles. In her, I, know. I love her so much because when I've always like just needed an extra boost or extra bit of strength, she is always there. Mm. With uh, the record, I sent it to her early. And she was like, baby, this is great. <laughs> I said, thank you, mom. She said, no, 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 this is a great record. Then I called her a couple of nights ago before she posted it and I didn't know she was doing it. So I, I'm, she, I guess she's in between the filming and she's clapping her hands yeah. and like, and I was like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm doing a video to your song. <laughs> I love her Instagram so much. Yeah. You know, you've been in the industry for so long. At this point, like what is really exciting you when it comes to female artists and, and the music industry right now and the current landscape? Oh my gosh. It's so many things that excite me from um, authenticity. Like when you can like see that what these artists are singing about is just like real. You just want to sit them down and say, oh girl, tell me all about it. <laughs> you even defended um, WAP when it came out. It's so funny because like, I feel like in so many ways, I'm a feminist. I'm all for like women speaking their mind and being who they are. But when WAP came out and I heard wet ass pussy, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> and I feel like I've been programmed by society and 100% double standard here programmed by society that like women aren't supposed to say pussy, but when I hear a man say pussy, like in a rap song, it's it's okay. Did you have to think about that when you heard that? Or is, am, is it just me reprogramming my own mind? No, it's so funny because my sister Angie, she <laughs> she's so cute. She, she's like, <gasps> whenever, like if we're on the phone call and I'm like, and it was blah, 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 and pussy. And she's like, oh, did you just say that word? And I was like, Yes, was I not supposed to? And she's just like, well, no, you're you're grown. You can, you know. She was like, oh, I just need to, I just need to say it. And so, literally for her birthday, I said, come on, and she just say it. say it. And so I literally sat there and I said, say it, say it. pussy, say it. And she goes, oh, she literally was like. 
It was tickling like her <laughs> lip. I was like, say it, say it. So she finally says it and she just like burst out laughing. But I was like, how come we can't take that work back? I mean, I, I love the fact that Cardi like bow, bites back at people. You know what I mean? And on one hand, I'm like, don't say nothing. They don't even deserve, they don't even deserve it. You know what I mean? Like, cause some people, they don't deserve a bite back. You know, if you um, cross me good enough, it's like you never existed. I'm very good at that. Mm, that's a Scorpio in me too. What sign are you? <laughs> I'm just an Aquarian, <laughs> but yeah. But maybe it's the Titan part of me because Titan is a Scorpio for sure. Oh, but. that's right. Cause he's a little November baby. Oh, well, speaking of Titan, you've, you've created affirmations with him. With Titan, every day we tell him Tell, tell me who you are. Um, I'm a smart black boy. Okay. And what else? I am, he says, I am one. He loves to tell himself he's wonderful. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yes, you, yes, you are. Yes, you are wonderful. He says, I'm a great thinker. And my superpower is learning. And I'm handsome and I am strong. Like he's saying all these things because I just keep thinking about the world that we live in now. And how for black and brown boys, the world would try to tell them what their worth is. Mm -hmm. I don't, they're not gonna tell my baby who he is. <laughs> it's not gonna tell my baby who he is. Um, I'd like for him to know that from home first. And it's so funny because we're also not those parents where it's like, he brings you his work that he's completed today. And it's like, oh my God, this is great. You could have worked harder. I know you could have. You know what I mean? Yes. And and I'm very proud of you because you know what? You did great and you tried and you did your, and he's like, my best. I was like, yes, you did your best. But on this one, did you do your best? He's like, no. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so we try to have this balance with him and it seems to be working. With working, sometimes I feel super, super guilty. Um, with the Christmas movie that I just did with uh, Lifetime, it took me away from Titan and Tim for five weeks. Oh. But... This one mom said, no, it's important for him to see you working. It's important mm -hmm. for him doing things that you love. He's helped me sit down and edit the movie. That's what's really awesome. I'm like, do you like this part or this part? And he's like, well, I like this part. And then I'll say, tell me why. And somebody told me to bring them in in my work because then they understand your space. And I watched B do it all the time yeah. with her kids. Such an exceptional mother. So I learn a lot from her. I learn a lot from Solange. Solange is such a great mother. Um, um, Mama T, such a great mother. Sierra, such a great mother. La, such a great mother. I feel like I'm surrounded by these incredible women who constantly feed me when they don't even know that they are. I just watch them. Mm. It's like when you did um, um, Brown Skin Girl. It's it's like it's like a your tribe. There you guys are. What did what did that mean to you doing that song and and being a part of Black is King? Oh my gosh! Uh, one when I heard Brown Skin Girl, I actually cried. I think the mm. the five year old me. I don't know if I ever told her that, uh, but the five year old <laughs> to me, um, I cried mm. because I was like, oh my god! I need. I wish I would have heard that when I was that small. I think that when you're little and, and um, you know, I remember going to a all black school in Atlanta and I saw kids that looked like me. Then my mom's job moved her to Texas. And then I was in a school where there were only three other, two other black kids in the school. So I had these moments where I was like, where am I? <laughs> you know what I yes. mean? And and I didn't see anybody that looked like me. And there was teachers who definitely treated me different. So it was just having that identity, but knowing my worth and who I am and being proud of being a, a brown skinned girl. And between my mom telling me and then my mama T telling me and then seeing all this black art all over my mama T's house mm -hmm. and seeing my face reflected in a space where I lived and dwelled, it just, it really fed me. So I'm truly grateful for that. To hear the whole conversation, make sure you listen to Pretty Big Deal wherever you listen to podcasts. And a huge thank you to our friends at Flamingo for sponsoring this episode. This 
light hydrating moisturizer from Flamingo is my fave, fave. Cause look, it just, look at that. It looks like I have a sun-kissed glow on right now. Kelly, thank you for being on Pretty Big Deal today. I truly believe that you are the definition of what Pretty Big Deal means. So again, thank you and mwah, thank you everybody for listening to Pretty Big Deal. To hear the full conversation, click the link below.